Now, she's the transgender woman demanding an apology from a rail company after claiming they wrongly referred to her as Sir. Katie Yeomans, who went gender reassignment surgery in 2017, says rail staff addressed her using the wrong title on two separate occasions. But as Southern Rail dispute her initial claims, Katie joins us now to share her side of the story. And it's lovely to have you here. Thank yeah, you for thank coming you today. For me on. Now, it's a pleasure. Katie, so you, you say in your own words that you're quite unique and that it was only a few years ago that the penny dropped for you. So what, what happened? Explain that. In 2014, I went to a fancy dress party and never addressed before, never thought about dressing female, and something clicked. Right. And from that moment, I knew something was different. So in, Neve in November 2014, I went to see my GP and that's where my journey started. And to begin with, it was something that you kept to yourself. Yeah. But then you got to the point where you just thought, actually, this, this isn't me. I'm not being honest with myself or all those around me, actually. Yeah, it was only a few weeks or maybe a month or two. I used to go to Brighton and Bournemouth because they're very LGBT friendly. Yeah. And it, you can imagine it's, it's quite a big uh, thing to do anyway. Mm. And although I, I was certain of my route, um, it, it took a lot of courage. And I, I remember that first day I stepped out of the house and I was mm. absolutely petrified. Of course. And, um, yeah, the journey has, has been quite interesting. How, um, how did your family and friends react? I've got two sisters and initially, obviously, because I was their brother for 60 years, they were shocked. But they've come to terms and I actually get birthday and Christmas cards with sister on. Ah, no. oh, so, good. Uh, we had the hormones, as you say, in 2015. You've got your female birth certificate in 2016, the reassignment operation in 2017. And so for you, fully adjusted, family, friends, everybody accepting of, of Katie, and there you are, and here you are now, finally the person that you wanted to be. So what happened on that day, the first... Right, on the first incident, I'd just returned from a holiday in Gran Canaria, and I was dressed pretty much similar today as I am today. I had a dress on, like to this, and I had a denim and green jacket, and I had black leggings. And I caught the train, and I said to the guard, excuse me, do I change at Barnum or change at Haven to Portsmouth? He said, just sit down there, sir, and I'll be with you in a minute. The train was packed because they just suffered um, dis uh, a lot of distribution problems that weekend. <laughs> right. And um, although I would normally challenge someone, I thought, it's not really appropriate to do it now. I was absolutely fuming. So the next day, I lodged a formal complaint with um, Go Via Thameslink. Yeah. The second occasion happened two weeks later at Emsworth Railway Station in West Sussex, also owned by Southern. Um, <coughs> I always dress female. I, on that particular day, I had a blush pink uh, coat on and a pink scarf. And I purchased my ticket from the booking office showed him my rail card and I said to him, is it platform one or two to Brighton? He said, it's platform number one, sir. Nice. I said, excuse me, I said, this is the second time in two weeks that I've been misgendered and being called sir. I said, can you explain why? First of all, he said he didn't see me and I know that wasn't true because he just served me the ticket and I produced my rail card and then he said, Oh, I didn't see you, he said, because my glasses were steamed up. So, when that happens, how does that make you feel? Um, very angry mm. and uh, insulted mm. because I've worked tirelessly these last five years in transitioning. I'm very proud of who I am and I, I, I live very happy and I've got a very busy social life. Um, all the people who know me within my area mm. have been absolutely fantastic. My neighbours, my friends. Um, I couldn't have asked for better support. Right. So it's been really good. And then when that happens, and this is not the first time this has happened, mm. it, it's very insulting. Hurtful. Would anyone... Would anyone um, oh, we are incredibly proud of the work we've done for the LGBTQ... Um, yep. a, a, a community on this show, we won awards for it, but there are questions that have to be asked, obviously. Um, was it done maliciously? It's very hard to say. Um, so it could have been a genuine mistake? Well, the first time, maybe... 
I mean, he did see me. I was face but to it was, face. But it was a packed train. He may yeah, not have looked down. He may have made a mistake. The <clears> second <throat> time was definitely not a mistake. Mm. And what really annoys me, and why I've brought this case into the public domain, is that I wrote to Govia Thameslink, outlined um, my complaint, explained that they breached the Equality Act of 2010. The first guard denied um, any connection with me at all. And the second guard said that he didn't call me sir, he called me mum. <clears throat> well, no one calls anyone mum these days. Is it, is it possible, because I know that you're, you've quite rightly asked for an apology, and we've got a statement in a moment, you, you're, you've taken them to court, it's two and a half thousand pounds of compensation. Um, is, it, is it because this is all relatively new and we are all, everyone is having to learn a new approach, quite rightly having to learn a, a, a new approach. But by taking to someone to court, you know, it, it means that nobody can make a genuine mistake and not wanting to offend you in any way, they made a mistake and you got litigious. No, I understand. Um, it hasn't actually gone to court. That, that was my um, intention. It's with the Rail Ombudsman now, mm. and the compensation that's mentioned in the press, <clears throat> that's the maximum compensation they can award. And it's not about the compensation, it's about... Yeah, I agree entirely, we're all human, and I would be wrong if I sat here and said I, I've never made a mistake, of course, everyone make, makes mistakes. Um, but when you write to a company, even if they don't want to admit the actual um, thing. <clears throat> they could have sent a, um, a nice letter back saying, yeah. well, well, sorry, you felt like this. Well, that's, that's their um, statement, actually. If, if, you know, you, maybe if you got this, you might have felt, you know, sort of slightly, slightly better, because um, a spokesman for the company said, we've looked into this thoroughly and dispute what's been claimed, so you wouldn't be happy with that. However, with investigations ongoing, it would be inappropriate to make any further comment in this particular case. We promote diversity within the organisation and across the rail industry. We have a popular, active LGBTQ community on Southern and Govia Thameslink Railway and are vocal champions of employees who identify as such, celebrating them both internally and in the media. I appreciate what they've said. Um, to be quite honest, I, I hear that statements all repeated by other companies and sometimes it's a get out clause mm. you know um and i don't want to really get into politics but we we'll go via thames link they were re recently fined five million pound for running appalling services well we we that's not that um, we yeah. haven't got the backup for yeah, that, I so we won't get into yeah. that um i just wanted to ask you this because there's caroline farrow's been in in the news today she was on good morning britain last september with susie green who has a transgender daughter they had a debate on air and then the spat continued off air onto twitter and um caroline ended up using him as a pronoun to describe the child um because in her opinion she he had he she as he said to him hadn't undergone gender reassignment surgery. Um, I just wanted to know your opinion on this because she's saying, as a Catholic, it's her right to have her own beliefs and her thoughts and feelings on this. The police have got involved. She was contacted by officers at, Sur at Surrey Falls to inform her that they were investigating an allegation that she made a transphobic comment on Twitter. What, what's your take on that? I did read the article in, yeah. the, in, the, in the Mail, I think, or, or the Express, and I saw it on the TV this morning. Um, I don't know the full facts of the story. Yeah. I don't know whether... If it was a one-off incident, I think it was well over the top for someone to report it to the police. Right. Um, as, you, as you rightly said, everyone makes mistakes, and that's fine. Whether this was a repeated thing mm. and the person... Even if it wasn't a, a mistake, even if it was an intended thing, is if that's something that she she's defending what she believes in? So now, does that mean now that if you you can't have that opinion because you, someone's going to get the police involved? Who and I'd much rather personally, I'd much rather they were out catching people with knives. Me too, but as as a transgender person, um, we are protected under the Equality Act of 2010 from discrimination. Yeah. So if, if someone persists. I'm not on about me, I'm talking generally now. If someone persists in calling someone he or she when, when they've asked them not to, then they, irrespective of their religious belief, mm. 
or politics or whatever, they, they should adhere to that, you know, because... Well, we should all be mindful, thoughtful, sensitive, Absolutely. caring for other people, yes. but Simple, we should be allowed our own opinions and everyone mm. should be allowed a mistake. Yeah. I've always, had the, I've always had the view regarding my transition that some people don't, don't understand and some people don't agree. Mm. And that's absolutely fine. We're all entitled to our own opinions mm. about whatever subject. But I think when they deliberately, and I'm not on about me, I'm, when they deliberately um, Continue mi mi with it. misgender people, mm. yeah. um, then I think that's a different story. Yes. Well, it's a very fair point. We'll, we'll, we'll read some comments a little bit later on. Yeah, that's um, fine. But, uh, it's Katie, lovely thank to meet you. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.